In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can solve a linear equation. The equations we'll look at are going to have a variable on both sides, and we're going to attempt to find out what number that variable is representing. That variable x, or whatever letter we're using, represents some number. Our goal is to find that number. To start off with, though, we need to be get organized, and we have to first move the variable to one side by either adding or subtracting it. You should recall from solving equations in the past that we move things by doing opposites. And so we can solve the remaining two-step equation, doing order of operations backwards by adding or subtracting first, and then multiply and divide second. getting the constants away from the variable. So looking at this first example, we've got negative 3x plus 4 equals 16 minus 8x. We use that equal sign to balance on, and it's worth taking the time to show that balancing through the equals. And we notice we've got the variable on both sides. We need to move it to one side by adding or subtracting it. I personally like to move the smaller one, doesn't matter which one we move. The negative 8x, though, is smaller than negative 3. So to get rid of a negative 8x, we do the opposite. Put a positive 8x. Of course, whatever happens to one side must happen exactly the same on the other side. So we'll add 8x to the other side as we line up like terms. Negative 8x plus 8x is gone. So on the left, we've got negative 3 plus 8x is 5x still have the plus 4 equals 16. Now that we've moved the variables to one side, we want to move all the other numbers to the other side. We've got this plus 4, the adding and subtracting. We get rid of it by subtracting 4. The opposite of plus 4 is negative 4 on both sides. 4 minus 4 is 0, so we're just left with 5x on the left side. And 16 minus 4 which is 12 on the other side. Finally, we get the x alone by dividing both sides by the 5, doing the opposite of 5 times x, which is to divide out that 5, leaving just x equals, and we'll often have a fraction. Let's leave it as a fraction, 12 fifths. Let's try another problem. 2x minus 7 equals 8x minus 9. Again, I'm going to balance on the equal sign. We want to know what number that x is representing, so to get organized, we need the x's all in one place. I like to move the smaller one. Technically, it doesn't matter, though. We've got a positive 2x right now. To get rid of two positive x's, we need two negative x's on both sides, because we're moving the whole thing. 2x minus 2x is 0. We're left with negative 7 equals, we had 8x's, we took 2 of them away, we now have 6x's, minus 9. Now that we have the x's in one place, we want to get rid of that minus 9, which is in the way. The opposite of a minus 9 is a positive 9 on both sides, doing the same thing on both sides. The 9's subtract out to 0. Negative 7 plus 9 is 2 equals 6x. And finally, 6x means 6 times x, so we divide by 6 on both sides to get x alone equal to the reduced fraction of 1 -third. We now know what the variable x is represented by the number 1 -third. Solve equations by first getting the variable on one side, and then isolate the t by adding and subtracting, and then multiplying and dividing.